Hey, uh, don't forget it's Guild Wars. Don't forget to do your daily quota. You don't want to be slipping out of top 10, do you now? What's good, folks? As you guys have now seen through the Bushroad Summer Conference, even the Guild Wars Tower event is also coming to the global side next month. So get excited to, um, I guess, hopefully stay friends with the people in your team and not start raging at everyone for not doing enough uh, because there definitely is a lot of tension when it comes to the team event but today's focus of the video is not the team event it's actually battle sisters so you know every set we usually have a few like top meta dogs set 19 brought us bluish flames brought us revengers um I, I guess like witches were pretty good too but of course some decks aren't necessarily that great they're more for fun you know they just kind of ported forward some promo legions that weren't that good in the tcg just to kind of like experiment and see what they can do and one of these decks is battle sisters and i personally always enjoy battle sisters in zero a fair bit i think it's a fun little deck i never expected to do well or anything i just kind of played for the sake of playing it and that's what we're going to do today if we can find a win that'd be great if we just play link joker three rounds in a row even though i love link joker um this matchup is definitely not very great you know it, it won't go too well but at least we can have some fun with it so let's give it a shot as you can see i got to legend eight already mostly playing link joker actually I'm trying to not look at my position in the ladder at all this season and just like play for fun just like play in my free time when I feel like it and then at the end of it all I want to see like how far does just like playing for fun take me um, without actually like sweating for ranked at all because like the moment I see what rank I'm at I start to feel like motivated or demotivated so I'm just going to play this entire like two weeks without looking at it at all. Uh, by the way the one other deck from this set that I haven't yet featured or like I have built but I haven't done a deck on or a deck video on is actually dark regulars which is the amon legion so if you guys want to see that let me know in the comments but do let me know if you'd rather see that or if you want to see the set 20 deck and fights earlier because if i have to work on the amon one then that'll delay all the other ones so keep that in mind but if you want to see it let me know so at least i know the general kind of population that wants to or doesn't want to see it but of course today let's like talk about the battle sisters i gotta slow my speech down a little bit and battle sisters in my opinion are pretty damn okay like that's the best way to put it um they got a new legion which is the what's her name even again jelly i think it was jelly yes Ju jule jule something like that so uh what she does is she legions with pudding and when you legion, the timing when you legion, you count us three, and for each battle sister in your, in your middle column, you draw one, and then you discard one card from your hand. And when she attacks the vanguard, if you have another unit in the middle column, she gets plus 3k power. So the effect is not that great. Count us three to draw three, discard one is all right. You know, it helps to, to hit your pieces, which is cool. Let's us fill up the drop zone for a legion next turn as well. If anything, the best thing about her is the Legion, so you can put back all your stand triggers, which we do play a lot of. This deck draws like crazy, so we don't really need draws in my opinion, and so instead I focus on stands. I went back to this starter, um, so I don't play those Mangus because I want to have the starter behind the Vanguard for the first Legion turn, so that I can have like the draw three without having to commit another booster. But otherwise, she's pretty cool because she's kind of almost one put into the soul, and we saw blast a lot in this deck. So look at top three and call Bowser from among them and give it plus 2k for that turn. Now, what's cool is that we can call things like the Lemonade, who says on play three guard circle soul blast two counter charge two to basically like empty out that soul counter charge and then be able to use the jelly skill again the following turn which is pretty cool um then we have 10k attackers i don't run self damages anymore because i don't focus on riding the legion cards uh, sorry the limbrick cards as much you know i still have fromage but I, if I ride into her, it's cool, but I generally do want to be like staying on the jelly because Legion is just a massive power uh, column. Of course, PGs, Cocoa's, you know, I had to commit some tournament coupons for this. Uh, Cocoa is still great, you know, check top card. And if it's the perfect guard, you actually add it immediately to your hand. Uh, then 12k attacker, Silent Tom, pretty self explanatory. This is a great card on hit anything. Kamas 1, look at the top card of your deck. If it's a battle sister, add it to your hand. If not, put it to the bottom of the deck. So only Silent Tom gets sent to the bottom, which is pretty cool. And this also works when hitting rear guards which is pretty cool so you can swing a rears with this and then you can swing a vanguard with this one which is the pudding who says when she attacks uh, when her attack hits a vanguard you can if all of your units are battle sisters so you can't have silent tom on the on the battlefield you counter charge one and give another unit plus 3k power so she lets you make better columns because her boosters aren't too great but of course she doesn't work with tom so keep that in mind and she basically refunds the counter that you're paying on top of like the you know the lemonade that's why I only run three lemonade because I do think that she can rely on her pretty well. And sometimes you don't have the soul for lemonade either. So that's something that's very important to keep in mind. Otherwise, Fromage is a 16k beat stick. Not a bad ride either to draw two cards. This is our heal 
just because it's all right. You know, Camos 1, Persona Blast, to look at top 5, add 2, it's all right. And then this is just, you know, they're 11k beat sticks. I don't run uh, Cookie because she's only 10k. I want 11k beat sticks that I can stand with these stand triggers, then put back the stand triggers with Legion and just beat my opponent's face. So the deck isn't super crazy great or anything like that it's decent it's fun you know it's one of those decks that you're not really like playing on the ladder to necessarily like do well or to like grind for top ladder of course some people do um for me this is the kind of deck that i kind of like detox with like after i've had a bit too much playing revengers and liberators and stuff i just need to detox with a deck like this uh do keep in mind that i am recording this in the set 20 uh meta so this released in set 19 but i didn't actually have time to release this video during set 19 because that was bsfo month and didn't really have time for videos too much uh, for half of it. And so this got a little bit delayed. So if we do run into like three Link Jokers, then so be it. You know, that's just how the cookie crumbles. That's something you won't have to worry about when this deck releases. All right, Shadow. Well, that's that's a bit more... Oh! Not the same matter. This is a pretty well-known player. Not in Zero specifically, but they are pretty well-known in uh, the TCG sphere of things. I'll keep the... I'll keep the fromage. So if you don't know, Nanasemaru is actually from uh, Team Gotech Sampan. So, or well, they're called the Gotech Sampan channel. I don't know if they're a team actually. Does it say team on his thing? Oh, it doesn't. But uh, yeah, I think he took a break from Zero and then he came back to it. But he's a pretty well-known TG player. I think he won one of the VMCs as well. So if you're just a Zero player, you're not familiar with the TCG. This, these words are all like like alien to you. I don't, you know, I don't blame you either. It's all good. But. Yeah, cool. We're actually playing against a big name right off the bat and playing with Battle Sisters of all things, so that's going to be interesting. All right, let's see what Coco finds us. A heal. I don't actually... I guess I could put it back with Legion, but I don't have the Legion yet, so... Um, am I going to search the deck? Well, let's put it to the bottom. I'd rather hit a draw here. I would rather hit a draw here. Wait, I don't play draws. <laughs> <laughs> Don't listen to me. <laughs> See, this is what happens when every single deck you have is nine draws, except for one, and then you finally play it. Like, trust me, I've been playing this deck, like, in my free time a fair bit. Ooh, wow, he's actually pushing with the... He's punishing my 6k. Like, this is real TCG player moves. You love to see it. You love to see it. All right, cool, cool. I mean, I'm about it. I'm about it. All right, another fromage. I'm just hitting all my triggers. I'm not sure how to feel about that. Um, I don't need the counter charge unless I use Cookie, but I don't want to use Cookie without having boosters in hand. Maybe it's worth it, though. This only works on Vanguard, though. It might be worth to use Cookie, actually. Let's let's try to use a Cookie here, then, and see what we can hit from this. Uh, what do I even want? I mean, I guess this is fine. I guess that's fine. This hits for okay numbers. Hits for okay numbers, right? Alright, gives a bit of power, too, so it's 17k. Tom, we don't need for now. That's okay. All right, let's just bash a little bit. Hopefully this hits. All right. Oh, that's something I would have liked. That's something I would like in hand. The little plus engine you get from that card is really nice. Damn it. We're not going to hit, so that's going to be unfortunate. Damn, really Pepega plays like from my own deck here. A bit unfortunate, but it is how, what it is, right? It is what it is. All right, I guess in one way what we can do is basically just like ride up. I mean, we see how much he pushes in Mimi here, right? Like we see if he's gonna push me to four, if he does, which I think he's gonna do it. I think he's pushing me to four here. If he does, then we could even go for the Persona Blast and like use it twice and then Legion back the heals after. If we can hit the Legion, I think we have to add the Legion from this search actually. All right, we get pushed to four, that's actually fine. But yeah, we really, remember when in like an old Deccan fight, I said something along the lines of like, oh, when you're, whatchamacallit, basically like when you're playing a jank deck, you get faced against other jank decks, but today we're not. <laughs> today we're not. Actually, when I play Battle Sisters, I never get faced against jank decks. That's like the one thing I've noticed. The whole time I've been testing this deck, it's been pretty consistently like good stuff only. All right, you're counting us two to gain power, but we don't need that for now. Let's go into Monoka and just Persona Blast a little bit. Yeah. Let's Persona Blast, add PGs to hand and stuff. We can add two cards, so this is good and this is good. We already have the counter charger in hand. We only have three soul anyway. So let's add these two. That's quite cool. Uh, six cards in hand, so we can do it again. Let's do it again. Give me the Legion. Where's my Legion? That's another PG. You're good too. Yeah, we don't really have great twos, huh? We don't really have great twos. Let's add you as well. 
this is really nice. Like, the Persona Blast is still really good, like, card effect-wise. Um, let me Soul Blast 2 to gain power first. Oh, not to gain power, to counter charge, sorry. I'm saying whatever I feel like, to be honest. Alright, let's see what Cocoa brings me here. Cocoa brings me a stand trigger. We can leave that on top so we can actually do some shenanigans. Uh, this will do a nice... This will do another nice... But I think I don't want to aim for standing. I know there's a trigger coming, so maybe I should like build up my columns with that in mind. But CB2 for power kind of sucks. Alright, so... We know the stand is up there, so I need to, like, attack in a weird pattern, basically, to not draw into it from this. Which kind of sucks, but it's okay. Yeah, so this is a stand. Uh, this will stand, and we'll give the power... How much damage is he on? Two. Two, 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 two. Let's, get, let's give it here first. It's kind of weird. Ooh, double stand, okay. Didn't expect that. Didn't expect that. Alright. That's something. Yeah, I had a feeling. I had a feeling it was defensive there, so I didn't want to push um, the power to the to the other rear that much. And I think I did okay with that. This will still give me the draw, so that's okay. We'll give him Limit Break, but there's a Legion card anyway, so it's fine. Uh, so now... Alright, we get another Great 2 for next turn. We still don't have a Legion. We plus so much. We plus so much, but our hand is still 4. And we have just like 2 PGs to work with that we both searched out this game. Oh, man. Alright, we really need the Legion here, like, really bad. Like, look how many stands we have in here. Oh, we have- actually, we have three stands, two heals. Like, the heals are pretty good, too, to put back. As in Legion, overcall the Swordbreaker. It's a bit of a yike situation, but at least for next turn, I have, like, a pretty good board. Like, he's not gonna retire anything, because, like... I mean, he could, theoretically, but he needs a, to overcall his Tartu for it. So I don't think he's gonna bother with that. Most likely. Most likely not. Alright, so Mock Art, Mac Art, sorry, is gonna call out the Mordred Searcher. Okay. And then he needs one more Revenger to not have to retire any of his Interceptors. Which I'm sure in that six card hand he has plenty of. Ooh, will this kill a Cocoa? It's not really worth it for him, to be honest. He could, but it's not really worth it. Alright. Yeah, I don't think that was a good idea. Just because, like, your CB is so much more valuable to, like, Put it into other resources. Ooh, he's killing the from Maj. That's interesting. All right. So that means I'm actually not going to use any PGs. This well, I'm going to use one PG here, um, unless I heal here or something. All right, Tom. Ah, Tom is still nasty. Can't forget Tom. Although I have one at the bottom of the deck and I haven't shuffled the deck due to Legion yet, so hopefully we can do that soon. All right. I think we're out of the actual heals, though. I think I think all my heals are out. Are they? I think I have one left. Yeah, I have one left. One left. Alright, well, let's see what kind of plusing we can do. I could go into Fromage here, actually. Yeah, I think let's just go into Fromage. Let's go into Fromage. Yeah, this sounds good. That sounds good. We just need some power-ups. Fromage! Alright. Let's use Fromage to draw two. There's the Legion. There she is. A little bit off, off timing. Off beat. Uh, we still have two stands and a healing deck and 13 cards, though. That's kind of yikes. I mean, first, I don't know what's at the top of my deck, so I'm gonna just try to draw and hope it's not a stand trigger. That'd be great. Hope it's a Lemonade. Oh, it's a PG. That's even better. That is actually probably what I need to survive here. He'll have one CB, so he needs to re-Legion here. Uh, let's see. Stand trigger gets popped. Mm, let me stand this column first. This will be 21. If we can hit a double, that'd be great, but for now it's fine. Uh, the counter charge would be really great here, too. Alright, let's get a PG out of his hand. Alright, I think I might still be dead, especially if he has BDR Dorant. If he has BDR Dorant, I'm like super dead. If not, then we can clap back next turn with the Legion. Oh, he has the re Legion, too. Yeah, he has the re stand. Uh, this depends. Mana. Mana, let's see. Swing. 1 PG, 2 PG, re stand, hit again. Yeah, I think I'm dead without a 6 damage heal. I think we're dead here. Unless, like, he doesn't have another way to attack, but... I'm also 16k base, so I guess he has to make, like, columns of 16k or more, but I'm sure he doesn't struggle to do that. I'm sure that's not something that he's gonna struggle to do. Fromage really showing off why her power-up is so relevant, though. Alright. That's a Raging. That's a great 3. That's a great two. Wait a second. I'm still 16k power. 
So this doesn't hit. So I think we survive. Oh my god. Ah, oh, the heal's nasty. Oh, the heal's nasty. Oh, that's nasty. Oh, that's so nasty. Uh-oh. Okay, we're gonna be fully just stand gaming here. Alright, he's gonna do it. Still has double intercept up, up front. Oh my god, the double intercept is really nasty. Ah, the double intercept is nasty. Like, to be honest, I'm surprised we're not... Like, we're actually, like, pretty decently in this. We're pretty decently in this, not gonna lie. Not gonna lie. Ah, Limon is what I need, to be honest. Alright, let's re -legion. put these stands back, and we just try to win through that. I think we... There's no... Like, even with a heal at the top, there's no winning, I think. There's no winning. We just Legion... Put back stands and just gaming express, you know? You know how we do. Alright, just put back all the stands and we just check stands for win. Check check stands for game. Use Cocoa to deck thin. You know what we do, baby. You know what we're all about. This is true gaming momentum. <laughs> Alright. Show me top deck stand and we might be able to win. It's not a stand, go to the bottom. Alright, this is it. The deciding moment. <laughs> I'm actually tight. I'm actually getting tight. Oh my god. Alright. Here it comes. Are Battle Sisters certified esports or are they not? No, they're not esports. Damn it. It's eat sports, not esports. They're all named after those desserts, man. It's eat sports. Alright, I'll tell him he was strong. GG's. GG's, we tried, we tried. Oh man, didn't put back any heals either, so now it's kinda like super GG's. Ah, uh, man. So three cards in a row were in triggers, and we still had, like, what, six? Yeah, we had six triggers in deck, and three of those cards were up. So literally, like, there's four other... In the next ten cards... The next ten cards contain six triggers, basically. That's... That's something. That's something. All right. But we also didn't hit, like, a single... We didn't get her effect off a single time in this game, which is, like, pretty big when you think about it. But yeah, Nana Semaru gonna take this one over us. I don't see a way, like, even if we heal, he can get an extra crit here, so we don't win, even with that. But I'll let it play out. Let it play out, but I don't see a winning play. Unless he, like, I don't know, forgets to retire for the effect or something. Like, it has to be, like, a t crazy misplay. But yeah, good job. Well played. Uh, to our opponents. It was a good game, and there's a stand. Ah, oh, that, that hurts to see. That hurts to see, but let's run it back and hopefully get a dub. That was pretty close. That was closer. That was closer than I would I would like to I would have thought. Closer than I would have thought. So pretty happy with uh how we did. So let's run it back. Alright, let's go for another game. That one was really close. Like honestly, I'm surprised how close we managed to play against Nanasem out of there. Definitely a really good match. So major shout outs there. Let's see if we continue to play against, you know, meta decks, another shadow paladin maybe. Or if it's gonna be more of the the rogue tier stuff. Usually oh it's Link Joker, alright. I don't think we're getting any wins today. <laughs> this deck kind of folds to Link Joker, just because it's a very field reliant deck and you don't have any unlockers or anything, so it's pain. It's pain. All right, this is not a great, good grade two to start on, but if we can hit... The, yes, there we go. That's the one we need. This is the one we want. Very good, very good. All right. Oh, it's Glendios. Or it might be it might be Legion, but with Worldline Engine. Some people have been playing that lately, so... Could be the case. Could be the case. Let's just see how it is. But for the time being, no, no need to panic yet. Stand. That's going to be a damage check, though, so I'll just put it to the bottom. As much as I would like it in hand, it's not necessary right now. Alright, so, next turn, I just kind of want to ride this and draw, to be honest. Alright, so reverses, what will you show me, though? Do you show me Glendio's compartments? Or do you show me, I don't know, Legion cards, I guess. I think running without the Worldline Engine is a bit better, though, personally speaking. I don't know. Oh, it is Glendio's. Alright. I mean, I guess that's fine. I guess for the global players, this is, like, as close to your guys' as well, I guess Legion doesn't really represent your meta too well. Another one is up there. Uh-oh. I don't like where this is going. We hit the PG at least, so that's good. Alright, well... I guess we just swing for now. I don't want to overcommit anything. Not for now. Oh, of course. Of course. That's okay, I guess. We can Legion them back faster. But we did just lose a card draw effect, which does hurt. Does kind of hurt. Ooh, ooh, nasty. Very nasty. I guess we can start with Fromage again, and then just Legion later. Alright, Magnet Hollow. 
That is very much a Glendio's deck, so I have to be like super careful about my back row here. I have to be super careful about the back row. All in one aid, I needed you. Come back to me, my fair lady. All right, well, speaking of fair lady, there's Luke here added to hand. That's not what I want. I want two to draw a card. I don't think so, buddy. I don't think so. All right, Fromage, start again. Let's see what the cookie can get me. Let's see what the cookie can get me. Oh, that's kind of nice. Is it? I don't have boosters. So that kind of hurts. Um... It's still an intercept, so I think it's fine. It's still an intercept, so it should be okay. And we could do something stonks with it. Wait, this gives plus three, right? Oh, wait, this could be stonks. This could be stonks. All right, here's what we do. We swing with this. This counter charges and gives the other one power. And then she hits and gets us an extra card draw, which is nice. So we can draw one off of this too. Heal trigger pops, so no dreams of hitting the Vanguard again. All right, this gives me a card draw at least. 12k attacker is good. 12k attacker is good. All right, swing. Get a heal that whiffs. No amount of triggers will actually hit. Oh, I should have probably put, like, power on here, because then if I hit a stand, I can actually hit for 24, and then actually confirm a third damage. But unfortunately, that's not the case this game. Not this game. Oh, wait, doesn't Chaos, like, lock... No, not Chaos. Doesn't Glendios lock something? Is that... That's not a Limit Break, so yeah, the Limit Break is the, the Omega lock. So if he goes into Glendios here, I instantly get a front row lock, which means I'm I've not been playing against it properly. Goes into the break ride. That's interesting. That's interesting. Did he knew he was gonna check that? My man definitely didn't put down a card that would necessarily give me that though. That's peculiar. Peculiar. Alright. Interesting. Interesting. Alright. All right, we get another PG. We have three, three PGs in. Mm, I kind of want to push. I'm at one damage, and I don't really risk getting world ended yet. So I'm gonna try to push. We still have so many stands in deck that I feel like I should be able to hit one. Just for stonks, you know? Just for stonks. Show me. Show me triggers. There we go. We stand you. We have power here. I'm gonna hit another one. Actually, no, this doesn't make sense. What am I doing? Oh, it's double standing. We can't even make use of it. Ah. <laughs> All right. Oh, it doesn't even go to four. He has to heal. We need back row so bad. We need a back row so damn bad. It's actually insane. Yeah, I don't know why I called out another card there. That was nonsensical. That was nonsensical when we don't have the power lines for it. Damn, and now we're missing cards. Ugh. Alright. Raw trigger checked. And he has reverse units up the wazoo right now. Literally just setting up for... Just set, setting up for reverse search. Yeah, this feels like, um... Glendios will ruin my day. Levels of, uh, GG. Alright. Guess you're just gonna pass here. Still have attackers. Tom? Not right now, buddy. Not right now. Alright, let him lock these front rows, I guess. We need to eat his limit break at some point, so I'm gonna have to just like brace myself here and just eat this thing right now. All right, stand here would be big. There it is. We can maybe push to five, but it depends if he checks the defensive here or not. Does he? He does not. So we can actually push to five. We're at two, and I don't feel like I risk getting Omega locked yet. Um, so I don't risk being world ended yet either. There's the Glendios. Let's let the animation rock. Alright. With the appropriate voice line and everything. Love to see it, love to see it. Alright, so Break Ride will lock both front rows. For Kalmas 2. Then it's gonna Mega Lock. And I have 3 PGs, so... It depends how much damage he wants to push this turn. Because these are really fat right now. Quality Maker for more filter. Probably to relock stuff as well. It's just a question of how... Oh, actually, he could actually counter charge, so... Gotta keep that in mind. Oh, he's going for the... This is the Salvager, right? Yeah, Salvager. Alright, so it's gonna be Salvage 1. Does he have counter charge? I'm assuming he does. I'm assuming he does, because otherwise he can't Omega Lock this turn. Uh oh here it comes. Yep, there it is. CC2. And then discard the Luke here. No, Luke already has. Oh, Cold Death. 
All right, that's pretty nasty. It's pretty nasty. That's all right. So far, we're okay, though. So far, we're not dead yet. Heal doesn't pop, but denies the Colony Maker from hitting, which is nice. So we're gonna be at four, and all three PG still intact. These are not Omega Locked either. Wait, are they? I think they're not. Pretty sure they're... Does this thing Omega Lock them? Huh, I don't think so. All right. Um, can I check what card this is? No? Not allowed? Okay. Would it be Handbanger then? What did you give me? Oh, that's a grade two, damn it. <laughs> and this needs me to have three or more battle sister rear guards, which I can't achieve right now. But I have three PG, so I'm kind of safe. Let's just like hit this. Now, this hits for awkward column, so let's hit this instead. Yeah, let's hit this instead. Everything should unlock here. All right, the whiff drive check is okay in this situation. So we pass, everything unlocks, it's all grade threes, so it's kind of whatever. So now he has to work really hard for his locks again. Unless he's going for just, like, reverse beatdown, which I guess is fine. But now the Glendio skill will actually lock my... The Glendio skill will lock my back row again, which I'm pretty okay with. Oh, it doesn't even use Glendio skill. This is literally just beatdown, huh? Oh, he's gonna take out my rears. <laughs> That's okay. That's alright. That's pretty alright for me, to be honest. Now I just need to hit, like, a booster off of the fromage, and we can just win off of Tom. Oh. Funny how that works out. Well, there's a booster. Tom for game? Tom for game, right? I think so. Oh, and the stand trigger on top? Yeah, I think we just keep that. I don't even need to draw any cards. We don't even need to draw cards, man. Alright. Do I flex with the Tom or nah? I don't think it's necessary. Because it goes into an awkward number anyway. But maybe I want to secure so that I can win uh, past a 6 damage heal. Which means calling down a PG. That's fine. Yeah, this wins over 6 damage heal because then we make a 23. Yeah, that, that seems good, that seems good. So we can do this, then hit rear guard with vanguard. And then restand this column to make it 23. And then Tom lands the finishing blow and then we 6 damage heal uh, safety here. That works out. Yeah, this works out pretty well. This works out pretty well. Alright, cool, 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 cool. Now we go for the finishing blow. He does probably have a PG in hand too, so that will... Uh, if he 6 damage healed, then the PG will proc probably. Nope, that's it. We actually got a game against Glendius. <laughs> Alright, Battle Sisters. I guess when you're at 1 damage for the majority of the game... Not too bad. Not too bad. We didn't get to l use the Legion at all that game, but... I think Fromage, I mean, it didn't really matter which grade 3 we were on, to be honest, but let's do one last game. We did ride the grade 3. We did ride it, so I guess it kind of counts, but let's do a game 3. This one was uh, pretty intense, so let's get the run back on it. Um, so, you know, it's a fun deck. It's a fun little deck. You don't have to use your brain too much, which is always good. Always good. All right, so we're playing against Dean D. All right, this is going to be Kagero, so probably Perditions. We keep playing against, like, meta clans. Meta clans. All right, we do have the Legion this time around. We have a pretty good hand overall. Like, this is actually a really nice hand. If you can just not heal out of the grade 2 again. Oh, it's literally the same. Epic. Epic. All right. All right. All right. All right. So, let's see. Is this actually Perditions, or is it some kind of, some kind of fresh spice? Maybe it's like, I don't know, <laughs> Seal Dragons or something. Maybe it's just pure Nouvelle, Overlord.deck, who knows? But I'm pretty sure it's gonna be Perditions. Perditions, I, I haven't really figured out myself yet. There's a lot of different lists running around. Some people run Dauntless, some people don't. Ah, oh, yeah, it's Perditions. Ooh, discarding that? That's like your Persona Blast, basically, so you don't really want to get rid of that. Oh, the hand keeps getting better. I like, you like to see it, you like to see it. All right. All right, the Tank Attacker. So she's a Tank Attacker when you have a Battle Sister Vanguard. I don't know if I mentioned that earlier. I hope so. I hope so. All right, this is the one game we didn't write Cocoa, so maybe... Oh, it is Seal Dragon, hold up. <laughs> That's a Seal Dragon break ride. Hold up, doesn't this, this need Seal Dragon Vanguard? Oh, no, it doesn't. It just, like, pops. All right, cool. Here comes the Conroe. Yep, search your PG, friend. It's all good. Do your thing, do your thing. Do your thing, man. Do your thing. All right. Well, let's see where he's going to go with it. I'm just going to swing. All right, that's fine. 
Oh, there's a PG. Wait, what did he actually find off of that? I kind of missed it. Check the log. Yeah, I found the PG off of it. That's fine. That's fine. All right. We got another stand trigger there. Hmm. Hmm. I'm thinking let's just not heal here. That'd be great. All right. That's the one time I don't want to heal. I want this free plus. The free plus is great. We don't run draw triggers, so we know we won't like overdraw or anything. Coco is a good pickup as well. That's an excellent pickup, actually. Excellent pickup. All right. This might still be like an early fromage ride because here I can actually develop a pretty nice board uh, to bas bash with. I almost said to bath with. <laughs> I do not want to go into the bath with my cards. Rides Overlord. Did he whiff? That's his heal trigger. He surely wanted to ride Vortex Dragon Mute. Or his break ride. This is really interesting that he wants to run this, considering the Vortex Dragon Mute murders the front row. So that's interesting. Alright. Okay, we have like no CB. Um We have like no CB. We tech we really don't have any CB. So I have to think about this. Um I guess here's what we can do. We can ride this. I'm just kind of thinking of Fromage for the power push. I think for the columns it might be better. Let's start with Fromage and then go into the Legion a bit later, because we can do some nice shenanigans here. We use this first, see what we can get into. Uh, that's fine actually, that's a pretty okay top deck. We can go here, we can go here. Soul Blast 2, so that helps us fill up for Legion, but not quite yet. We're gonna get to Legion next turn. Because we'll re-ride and we can Soul Blast out the Fromage, so we can put stands back, which is always great. Alright, so this is a 7k booster now, so we can put the, the thingy here. Counter Charger, down here. Uh, then this here, see what we get out of it. We don't need you right now. We don't need you right now. What's a good column I could make here? What's a good column I could make here? This is 17 plus 3, that doesn't make any nice numbers. 17 plus 3 is 20, that's not good. That's not good. Um, I guess this is nice. That's kind of nice. Yeah, yeah. Seems good, right? Alright, let's bash. But up, but up, but up. Ooh, not the draw. Ooh, the overdraw, though. You love to see it. All right, we like that a lot more. All right, let's just... We're probably gonna hit a stand here. Or maybe not, I don't know. We do hit a stand. We'll stand, but we'll just give power here, because the other one's hitting... Oh, the other one's hitting for 25? Aw, oh, man. All the numbers always end up being kind of awkward. Like, we're pushing damage nicely, but the numbers are really awkward. Like, this is just, like, uh, one power short. Like, one, literally 1k short. Not doing what I wanted to do. Which is a little bit unfortunate, just a little bit unfortunate. I mean, he's overdrawing like literally everything, so I'm kind of okay with it. But if he rides Vortex Dragonute here, right Dauntless here? This seems like the, I don't know, like he runs Dauntless and the Blockade Brock, Brock, Brock Ride? Broccoli Ride? Okay, he's gonna pop the Intercept, that's fine. That's okay. Ooh, my Fromage lost our power. No! <laughs> um. Yeah, this was an awkward turn in terms of numbers, I think. We tried to do some stuff. And I'm also very greedy with this tech because I'm like, oh, I can push for numbers, like, I can do all this crazy greedy stuff. I think he doesn't feel at risk that he's gonna die this turn. And I definitely get that. I definitely get that. PG check. We have, like, no PGs in hand. Does he swing a rear? Because that is a... Yeah, 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 he swings a rear. He swings a rear. He knows what he's doing. My man knows what he's doing. Gotta respect it. Uh, let's just go into the Legion here. Mm, I'm gonna call this here. Because I don't... I want to actually, like, counter charge. I want to get the good counter charge out, so... Let's just do this. Oops, nearly... Almost started... I did actually start playing a WCC Kai video. But... I guess enjoy his beautiful voice for a couple seconds. Had it on in the background. <laughs> but it was paused. Okay, we Legion... Here we can CB3 for the cool card draw, which is nice, which is nice. Into another stand, okay. Uh, we can drop the draw, we can drop the draw. Then here we're gonna overcall this to Legion the heal back next turn. And then we're gonna Soul Blast 2 here to Counter Charge 2 for next turn as well. And then I guess we can just kind of make this to draw. We'll just draw more cards, you know? The recipe... 
to, you know, getting rid of a headache, etc. is just draw more cards. You know, that's just how it works. Draw, that's good. Then we hit with this one, that's more card draw. And then we ask for, for his PG that he searched off of Conroe, basically, so... All the card draw, very cool. We love it. We love it. Oh, and it's great twos as well. Oh, you shouldn't have. All right. Stand trigger. All right, maybe if we can stonks this out. We need like a second trigger there. Yeah, it's not going to be quite enough. Not quite enough, but it would have been pretty hot if it was. I guess if I... I wouldn't have caught card draw then if I called down a great three there. But I think it's, it's a trade you got to be willing to make. You either draw cards or you... I don't know. Don't. Wait, we're gonna lose to Vortex if he rides it. Oh, uh, oh, he didn't. Okay, never mind. Yeah, if he rode Vortex, we'd be, we'd be dead in instantly. Like, I'm not even kidding. We'd be just dead. We might still be dead. Honestly, depends. Hmm, did he mess up? He needs a booster here behind the Velocity. Oh, he got it. Okay, never mind. Yeah, if he rode Vortex, he would like kill two intercepts, have four swings to deal one damage toward four. Oh, he doesn't have Cowlots for Vortex, so never mind. He needs to counter charge here and then... Oh, but then he wouldn't have um, Pain Lasered, right? Or Menace Lasered, rather? Yeah, this is a weird game. I think my opponent just doesn't have a Vortex in hand and he's like actively trying to draw it, but just doesn't find it. Poor guy. Gonna give me the Candle Blast here. Top deck counter charge? I don't think I even have any. Top deck PG instead, that's fine. I guess we just put back stands. Stands and heals. And we just go to town. Sounds like a plan. Sounds like a plan. All right, uh, let me just check. Actually, no, there's no point to check top deck because we're gonna, you know, we're gonna s shuffle it here. All right, seek mate. Dig you. All right, cool, cool, cool. Put the stands and the heels back. All the fromages go back to town. Very cool, very cool. All right, so no skill here. We're literally just legioning to put back triggers. It'd be like that sometimes. All right, what can you give me here? A stat trigger, that's good. We can keep that on top. We can definitely keep that on top. That should deliver us the game, I think. That might be play of the game. You know, Overwatch moments, 37. Okay, so... Double stand would be huge as well. We can actually, like, stand the Coco and hit for 11. So this will blow through the PG. And this will blow through a 6 damage heal, which is nice. Give that power. Alright, do we get a second one? No, we don't. That's okay. Alright, PG. And then, does he have a second one? Or technically a third one at this point, right? He does! He does! And I think we lose now. I think now we lose because we only have one intercept. Damn. Alright. He actually lasted pretty well. Dauntless over Dauntless, that, that works. If it works, it works, right? Don't don't diss it. But he has two cards in hand, which means he won't have the discard fodder for it. Unless he doesn't call. Or he tries to draw. Oh, he's gonna try to draw. That's so risky. That's my, like, my only path of survival. Is him not hitting a single trigger here. That's one. That's two, we survive! Oh my god, we survive! <laughs> Yo, we're actually living. We're actually living through this. I can't believe it. Um, There's no dimension where we need to Legion again, I think. Do we even have stands in... We have like one stand, it's not worth it. We're literally filling our deck with trash. Let's leave it the way it is. Leave it the way it is. Alright, don't give me a stand here. Just give me like a PG or something, just in case this mad lad heals or something. And just give me... Oh, damn it. Damn it. It's not what I wanted, but it's okay. We're out here. This man bricked, but we're gonna take that if we can. Good god. Damn. He just couldn't draw Vortex. He just couldn't draw Vortex the whole game. Like, we're playing his meta decks, but they're just not going well for these people. So yeah. Um, that's Legion Battle Sisters. It's a fun little deck. It's not great. Count us three to draw too effectively is, um, is a skill. Is definitely a, an ability of a card that is printed in the game. But is it impressive? Not quite. Not quite. Is it fun? Yeah, it is. I enjoy these kind of decks sometimes, you know, just kind of detox from all the meta stuff. That being said, I am, you know, Tox, me, Link Joker main. That's a different story. But anyway, that's it. That's Battle Sisters. Once again, let me feature the deck list real quick so you guys can take a look at it if you want to. It's a fun time. It's a good, good fun time. So enjoy it if you want to when this comes out in set 19 and global. I personally enjoy myself with it, so I recommend you do as well. You might want to consider playing four of this. Some people do. I think three is enough. But as you saw, sometimes I needed extra counter charge. Sometimes you're missing just like one. So it's just a matter of like this girl hitting. So it's 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 a fun little deck. Tom can still win you games. So it's a good time overall. So yeah. 
yeah, that's basically going to be it for me today. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. Thank you.